This is Save the World, an internet based Christian ministry with a divine money to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Baba Tokwe Baba Nubi, and today I want to share a message with you which I call Disgracing the Water Spirits. Disgracing the Water Spirits. How do we disgrace the memory spirits, the marine spirits, the water spirits that are troubling our lives? And probably our destiny today, the Spirit of God is still going to give us understanding, is going to give us knowledge, and is going to give us wisdom in this respect. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I give you glory because you are the kings of kings, you are the gods of God, you are the laws of lords, you are the half and figure, you are the beginning and end, you are the same God yesterday, you are the same God today, you are the same God forever, you are the God that changed the Lord, you are the creator of heavens and heart, you are the maker of heaven and heart. You are the ruler of heaven and heart. I thank you for your faithfulness. You are the God that is faithful. You are the God that is merciful. Let your name be lifted high above every other name. Let your name be lifted up above every other power. You are the only living God. You are the true God. All other gods are works of men. I thank you because you are the only God that can deliver. And today I commit as many people that are going to listen to this message before you by that same power that will deliver yourself from slavery. By that same power that you deliver Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the burning furnace, by that same power that you deliver Daniel from the lion's den, as many people that are listening to this message receive your deliverance. 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 Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because we are Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. This grace in water spirit. That is the title of this message. And we are going to take our reference text from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 12. It reads on that same night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn, both men and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. And I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. These are the words of God. And today I decree judgment on as many gods of your father's house that are crying against you, as many oracles of your father's house that are attacking your destiny, that are attacking your glory, as many ancestral gods, as many idols that your enemies are coming against you in your father's house, in the family, in the town you come from, in the name that is above every other name. I gather all these gods together and the quick judgment of God over them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every God of your father's house, every God of your mother's house, every God of your land of nativity, I command them receive judgment of God, receive the 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 judgment of God in the name of Jesus Christ. God says in Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt, all the gods of your father's house. Today they shall be judged, shall receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ, every man made God upon the land, every God in the waters, every God in the air. This day I execute judgment upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father, because we are not in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. This grace in waters, praise that is the title of our message today. We are going to look at the rules of water. Water is one of the primary elements in the heart. Two thoughts of the heart is covered by water in form of oceans, lakes, rivers, canals, ponds, streams, and glaciers. The human body is safe is made up of almost 80 percent water water can serve negative purposes water can serve positive purposes but when god created the heavens and heart god created everything for good including water god created water originally 
for the good of men. Genesis chapter 1 verse 31 says, God saw all that he has made and it was good. And though God created waters for the good of men, Satan has been using waters for some negative purposes. So depending on the situation over the years, water can be an asset or an ability. Whereas we all need water for domestic, industrial and agri agricultural purposes, there are several problems in the world such as flooding, hurricanes and tsunamis are all caused by excessive water. In the story of the creation as written in Genesis chapter 1, the glory of the world was at one point subdued by the waters and God himself and God Almighty himself had to command the waters to be gathered aside before dry land could appear. In the story of creation, water covered the glory of the world but God commanded dry land to appear. This day I command every water that is covering your glory, every water that is covering your destiny, every water that is covering your manifestation, I command it to be gathered aside, be gathered aside, be gathered aside, be gathered aside in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your dryness of miracles, let your dryness of breakthroughs, let your dryness of supernatural blessings appear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We are still looking at the roles of water. Waters occupy another place in the Bible after God has delivered his people, the Israelite nation, from the hands of their cruel oppressors, the Egyptians. On the way out of Egypt to the promised land, the Israelites encountered a stumbling block in the form of a Red Sea. God had to make a way in the middle of the Red Sea to enable the people to cross over to the other side. Therefore, today, every power, every waters, every ocean, every problem, every difficulty that has constituted itself as a Red Sea into your life, I command them to part right now in the name of Jesus Christ. God shall make a way in the Red Seas of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God that make a way for the Israelites in the rest, he shall make a way for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In that same Bible, we read how a general that was named Nama was hit of leprosy by the waters of River Jordan. This is another instance where waters was used possibly for a miracle in the Bible. Today, as many people that are, that are expecting a miracle, I push them into the Jordan of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ, as many people that are expecting healing, I push them to the Jordan of healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, as many people that are expecting promotion, I push them to the river Jordan of their promotion. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord that he name by river Jordan shall heal you today. In the name of Jesus Christ, by that same water, there was somebody that was written about in the Bible that stood for 38 years expecting a miracle. And as many of you that are expecting a miracle, no matter the sort of miracle you are expecting this day, enter the waters of your breakthroughs, enter the waters of your manifestation, enter the waters of your promotion right now in the name of Jesus Christ. By that same waters, John the Baptist led many to salvation, including Lord Jesus Christ, who also received divine potential and empowerment in the process by River Judah. Once more, I pray for you. As many people that are under every satanic oppression, this day receive divine impartation. This day receive anointing that is greater than the satanic anointing of your enemies. Receive it now, receive it now, receive it now, receive it now. Anointing to break every yoke. Anointing to cast away every other body. Anointing to cast away every body. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've listed how water has been used in the Bible. To let us know that water can serve both negative and positive purposes. Satan is the person that uses water as a tool of evil. Various evil spirits have possessed waters of the oceans, the waters of the seas, the waters of the rivers, the waters of the streams and ponds, and they have turned it into the habitation for committing evil plans against the human race and against the kingdom of God. These water spirits are often referred to as memory spirits. They are often referred to as mummy water spirits. They are often referred to. They are often referred to as queen of the coast, and there are a lot of other names in which they have known. But today, it is written that the name of Jesus Christ has been exalted above every other name, and that the name of Jesus Christ every knee shall bow in heaven and on the heart, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. As many powers that are sourcing their powers, as many evil spirits that are sourcing their powers in the waters. In the seas, in the oceans, in the rivers, I command them to be arrested. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Be arrested. In the name of Jesus Christ. The summary of my message today is that any Christian that is wishing to need 
and overcoming an victorious life must clearly understand the nature of water spirits in its locality and must clearly paralyze the activities of these water spirits. In the book of Exodus, in the Bible, we saw that God has to confront and disgrace the gods in the waters before his people, the Israelites, could be delivered from the cruel bondage and oppression of the Egyptians. Exodus chapter 7, verses 19 to 21 says, The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron, take your staff and stretch out your hand over the waters of Egypt, over the streams and canals, over the ponds, over the reservoir, and they will turn to blood. Blood will be everywhere in Egypt, even in the wooden buckets and stone jars. Moses and Aaron did just as the Lord had commanded. He raised his staff in the presence of Pharaoh and his officials and struck the water of the Nile, and all the waters were changed into blood. The fish in the Nile died, and the river smelled so bad that the Egyptians could not drink its water. Blood was everywhere in Egypt. Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, that we are referred to earlier says that on that same night I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn, both men and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. Today, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch out my hands upon the waters in the community you are staying, upon the waters of the province you are staying, upon the waters of the country you are staying upon the waters of the continent you are staying. As many of these waters that have been polluted by the powers of darkness, as many of these waters that are in habitation of the gods of the seas, of the queens of the coasts, of memon spirits, as many of these waters in which your enemies are using against your life, I release the blood of Jesus Christ upon the waters and I paralyze every activity of memon spirits, every activities of marine spirits, every activities of queens of the coast in these waters, I command those activities to be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. I pour the blood of Jesus Christ upon the waters of your houses. I pour the blood of Jesus Christ upon the waters of your street. I pour the blood of Jesus Christ upon every river, upon every stream, upon every pond, upon every ocean. Your locality, every activity of water spirits, marine spirit, memory spirits in these waters be paralyzed now. Be paralyzed now. Be paralyzed now. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. As we read in Exodus chapter 7, verses 19 to 21. God turned the waters of Egypt into blood. What was happening in that passage was that God was really executing judgment on the gods of the world. Let me read to you the comment I was reading on this episode in this Bible. Turning the line to blood was against the worship of the river as a god under the name Father of the Gods or Father of Life. I'm reading from page 110 of this Bible. All waters of Egypt, in streams, rivers, ponds, and all vessels in the homes was worshipped by the Egyptians under various names and symbols. It was the father of life and the father of the gods. Thus, the first miracle was a blow to the gods of Egypt. The Egyptians had her blood and their horror was have been extreme when they saw that their sacred river and all other water in there turned to blood. I want to refer you again to Exodus chapter 7 verses 19 to 21. If you study this passage carefully, we will realize several lessons. The first lesson we can realize is that the plague of turning the waters of Egypt into blood was directed not only at the Red Sea, but on all the waters in every city, in every town, in every village and locality in Egypt. The first lesson you can read from that passage was that this plague was a judgment upon the water spirit of Egypt because these waters were worshipped and held sacred by the Egyptians. Another lesson we can learn from this passage is that although God executed several plagues on the Egyptians before the Israelites could be set free, the first plague he executed against the Egyptians was directed against the water spirit. It clearly informed us that when carrying out deliverance, our primary target should be executing judgment on water spirits and gods of the waters. I want you to have a clear understanding of this passage in the process of delivering the Israelites from the bondages, from the oppressions of Egypt. God asked to execute various forms of judgment on the Egyptians. God asked to send 
various kinds of plagues against the Egyptians. But it is very significant that the first plague that God sent against the Egyptians was the judgment against the gods of the Egypt. God turned the waters of Egypt into blood. And by that, he symbolically executed judgment upon the gods of the Egyptians. Because the Egyptians at that time served a lot of gods that were resident in the waters. Turning rivers of Egypt into blood, God was really executing judgment upon the memory spirits, upon the water spirits, upon the gods of, of the waters. And it's very important for us that that was the first thing God did. In the process of setting the Israelites free. So the next thing there is that the first night of judgment has to be against the water spirits. The first night of judgment in a process of deliverance. If you want yourself to be delivered from the oppressions of the, of the enemy, the first night of judgment has to be executed against the water gods, against water spirits, against the gods of the waters. This is in line with the example set by God in the book of Exodus. In summary, God had to disgrace the water spirit of Egypt before his people could be delivered from captivity. Today, you need to disgrace the water spirits of your community. You need to disgrace the water spirits of your town. You need to disgrace the water spirit of your country. You need to disgrace the water spirits of your continent before you can receive total deliverance. How do you disgrace the gods of the waters in order to ensure your deliverance? There, I want you to realize that before you can receive total deliverance, you have to execute judgment upon the gods of your town, upon the gods of your father's house, upon the gods of your province, upon the gods of your country. In the name of Jesus Christ, you need to know that most of these gods are water spirits. There is no town that is adding no town, that is adding no province, that is adding no country, that does not have a river. All the world, all the continents of the world are bordered by oceans. Before you can achieve total deliverance, you need to wake up, you need to stand up and execute judgment. Even as God executed judgment upon the gods of Egypt, you need to wake up and execute judgment upon the gods of your fatherland, upon the gods of your country. Even as God turned the waters of Egypt into blood before he could deliver his people, the Israelites, from the bondages of the Egyptians. Today, before you can totally set yourself free from every evil bondage, you have to turn the waters of the land in which you are living into blood. You have to turn the waters of your country into the blood of Jesus Christ. You have to turn the waters of your village to the blood of Jesus Christ. You have to stretch your hands and command the waters of your town. You have to stretch out your hands and command the waters of your town, the waters of your village, the waters of your province, the waters of your state, the waters of your country, the waters that are boundary your continents. You have to stretch out your hands and command them to be turned into the blood of Jesus Christ. Even as they turn into the blood of Jesus Christ, every water spirit, every main spirit, every queen of the coast in that water shall receive judgment and they shall be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. But before you can execute judgment upon the gods of your father now, before you can command the waters of your town, the waters of your village to turn into the blood of Jesus Christ, you have to be a child of God. Therefore, the first thing you need to take today is to give your life to Jesus Christ and live a life of complete holiness. The battle is surely the Lord, but the Lord will not fight for you if you are not his child. God fought for the Israelites because they are his people. Therefore, if you cannot be described as a disciple of God, there is no way God can fight for you. Do you want to disgrace the water spirits in your town? Do you want to disgrace the water spirits in your village? Do you want to disgrace the water spirits in your continent? The first thing you need to take is to give your life to Christ. And I want you to say this prayer after me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I surrender my life to you. Let Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I invite the Holy Spirit to rule my life. I am born again in Jesus' mighty name. If you have said that prayer, you are not a child of God. If you have said that prayer, you have now the power to trap on snakes and scorpions and to overcome the power of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Before I finish this message, I want to tell you that the next thing you need to take now that you are a child of God, in order to disgrace the water spirits that are troubling your life, the next thing you need to take is to carry out a spiritual mapping of your village, carry out a spiritual mapping of your locality, carry out a spiritual mapping of your state, of your continent, of your province. I want you to identify the rivers, the streams, the ponds, the lakes, the oceans, and the rivers that are boundaries where you are staying, that, that are boundaries your continent, that are boundaries your country. You, I want you to know the names by which rivers are called. Know the gods that are washing in these waters. I want you to identify the satanic activities and operations of the spirits of these waters and start to pray against these spirits. 
you have the power right now. Luke nineteen ten says, "Behold, I have given unto you power to trample on snakes and scorpions, and to overcome every power of the enemy." Today, you have the power to stand up, and there is a quick judgment upon the oracles that are worshipped in these waters. You have the power to execute judgment upon the gods that are worshipped in these waters. Command the water gods and goddess to be disgraced by the power in the name of Jesus Christ and open your mouth and paralyze every satanic activities that are operating in these waters against your life, against your marriage, against your business in the name of Jesus Christ. A few years ago when I was facing some spiritual attacks, the Holy Spirit instructed me to pray against the spirit of Yemoja, informing me that I was being attacked by this particular spirit and I had to pray and overcome its activities over my life before I can have a breakthrough. On careful investigation, I discovered that this spirit that is called Yemoja is not only the river goddess, but also the mother goddess of all the gods and idols in the Yoruba ethnic group of Nigeria in which I come from. As a Yoruba man, it was therefore not surprising to me that I was being attacked by the Yemoja spirit, which my idolatrous ancestors must have converted all Yoruba to. It was therefore necessary for me to cut off the negative influence of the Yemoja spirit over my life, and the only way I could do this is by praying against this spirit, paralyzing its activities over my life. The spirit that is attacking your life may not be Yemoja spirit, it may be called another name in your ethnic group. Today, I want you to identify that spirit. Know the name of the gods of the waters in your name. I want you to do an investigation. Know the name in which the water gods of your town, in which the water gods of your village, in which the water gods of your country is called. Know the name of the gods of the waters in the country in which you are staying with. Know the name of the gods of the waters that is being worshipped from the time in which you come from and rise up and decree judgment of God, release the fire of God, release the judgment of God, release the blood of Jesus Christ against these waters, release the judgment of God against these oracles, release the judgment of God against these waters, and decree your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know clearly that Christians cannot live victoriously unless they wage spiritual warfare using biblical principles and examples, and the foremost biblical principle is praying and is raising the gods of the land, the foremost biblical principles of deliverance, as you see in the book of Exodus, is that the water spirits, the memory spirits, and the queen of the ghosts must be paralyzed. The judgment of God has to be executed against the gods of the land in which you are staying before you can receive your deliverance. You have to realize that Satan has turned the waters into a tool of carrying out several satanic operations, but Jesus Christ has also given us the power to overcome these activities. Jesus did not only give us powers in heavens and arts over all the powers of the enemy, but the Bible says that Jesus also give us powers over every satanic activity under the heart. This power that Jesus gives us to overcome every evil pattern, every satanic activities over the heart, is intended to be used in overcoming the evil powers that are in the waters, the evil powers that are in the river, the evil powers that are in the oceans, the evil powers that are in the ocean, and the evil powers that are in the oceans. Today, I want you to exercise that power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and you shall experience a testimony and a miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover you in the blood of Jesus Christ. I say life is a portion. You shall never not die. Every powers of the water that are troubling your life, every powers of the water that are troubling your destiny, every powers of the waters that are troubling your marriage, every powers of the water that are troubling your marital breakthrough, every powers of the waters that are troubling your business breakthrough, every powers of the water that is troubling your financial breakthrough, every powers of the water that is troubling your businesses, the God of Israel shall trouble them today. The God of Israel shall trouble them today. The God of Israel shall trouble them today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands once more against the waters of your winning. I stretch my hands against the waters of your community. I stretch my hands against the waters of the country in which you are staying. I stretch my hands against the oceans, against the oceans that surround the country in which you are staying. And I command these waters, I command these rivers, I command these oceans, receive the blood of Jesus Christ, receive the blood of Jesus Christ, receive the blood of Jesus Christ, be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. I paralyze every satanic activities against your life from this, in these rivers, in these oceans, in these streams, in these snakes, and decree your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the waters in your body to cooperate with your progress in the name of Jesus Christ. The waters in your body shall not cooperate with the enemies of your progress. I speak to the waters in your body to cooperate with your breakthrough in the name of your Christ. I miss the blood of Jesus Christ with you to your blood. 
and I cleanse out, I purge out, I cast out every foul spirit in the waters of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Every contamination in your body, it is written that any tree that my father has not planted shall be uprooted. Therefore, I purge out, I cleanse, I cast out every contamination in the waters of your body by the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I channel the oracles and gods of your village, every idols of your village, any power anywhere in your village that are the sourcing its powers from the waters in your village. I command them receive the judgment of God, 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 receive the judgment of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your mercy. I command them to be parted in the name of Jesus Christ into every power that has constituted himself into a resting into your life let the judgment of god fall upon them in the name of Jesus christ every water spirit every mimic spirit every king of the coast that is appearing to you in the dream every water spirit every mimic spirit every queen of the coast that is attacking you whether in the dreams or physically the judgment of god shall fall upon them i command them to be disgraced in me as god disgraced the water spirits in egypt in me as God is raised the gods of the Egypt, as God turned the waters of Egypt to the blood, as many water spirits that are gathered against you receive this grace, receive this grace, receive this grace, be 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 this grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ shall be a sign over your life, is a portion, you shall live and not die. In Jesus' mighty name, go and make it, go and be an overcomer, go and be a champion, go and live a victorious life. In Jesus' mighty name, I want to thank you for listening to this message. It is coming to you from Save the World. I encourage you to visit our website www.christonline.info. You can also send an email to us. Our email address is info at christonline.info. You can also give us a phone call for prayer, for counseling, or if you want to partner with us, our phone is 234-803-589-7435. If you have been blessed with this message, and you want to support us financially, we want you to send an email right now to us. We want you to give us a phone call and, and God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as you do so. My name is Baba Tokwe Baba Nobi. God bless you all. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.